How you doing, man? Man, I'm chilling. I'm blessed. Can't complain about anything, man. Bet that, uh, you see you've been putting in a lot of hard work lately, man. How it been going for you? It's going good, man. It's a, it's a non-stop grind. Yeah. But, um, you know, everything going good. Uh, my mixtape about to drop on live mixtape. Um, that pin Spinnerella in about a week or so, man. So, you know, just getting up, man. You know, so I can make an impact with, with the drop of that. Yeah. What's the title of it? Dirt Road Dreams. Dirt Road Dreams. That's what it is. I see you've been doing a lot of work in Atlanta, man. How let, how coming from Carolina, how that affect you when you go down there and try to handle business with those guys? Oh, uh, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Atlanta a tough market, you understand? Because one thing about it, you know, you ain't from there. And yeah. Atlanta is the place, man, where... Artists try to migrate from all over, you know, Cali, upstate, you understand? So, you know, it's just like a big music world, you know what I'm saying? I want to be music world, you know, because a lot of artists don't break from Atlanta, but you understand a lot of artists that break from Atlanta from Atlanta, you know, if yeah. anybody really watch, you know, and pay attention. So Atlanta tough, man, but, um, you know, it's about real relationships in Atlanta, you know, like, just think you can go down there and a the person go on, um, do this and do that for you, man. Like, if the relationship being built off, you know, reality, man, and some real in it, man, you, you be wasting your time, you know, honestly. All right, all right. So with that said, how, how, how long you been in the music biz, bro? And, um, since I've been a little boy, I used to write music, you know. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, as I get, I got older, you know, I still wrote, but, you know, I ran the streets, man, so, you know, I kind of chose the streets. Yeah. Um, before music, you know, so going hard and really being serious about it, man, I say probably four years, you know. But I've been doing it all my life off and on, so I always had a passion for music, you know, since a little boy, without a story to tell. I seen you done had a couple songs with a lot of big names, man. You want to get the, the fans a list down to those? Yeah, I got a song, um, Kama Sutra, with Lil Wayne. I got a song called Black, with Two Chains. I got a song called Columbia, with Shorty Low, rest in peace to him. And I just uh, recorded one with Young Greatness from New Orleans, man. Shout out to, to YG, man. But, um, you know, there's much more to record um, with, man, on the list. But, you know, I think the people need to hear me, you know? Yeah, yeah. Hear me, man. Let me expand my brand, you understand? And let some of them all recognize me and want to come get a future, man. Versus, man, I'm seeking a future from somebody, you know? Yeah, yeah. But if it happened like that, you know it happened, you know? Collaboration is always good, you know? You can, you can come up with a hit, you know, it works a miracle or something, man. It's a magic, you know? Yeah. It is what it is. Being from Carolina, you know, it's a lot of uh, up-and-coming artists out here. What's the importance of going out of town and, and touching other markets instead of trying to stay home and, and blow your music up from around here? Hey, man, that's the most important part, man, uh, of your career, man, is going and meeting other people, man, networking, man. Uh, one thing about it, I ain't really seen no one blow from Carolina. You know, I, I heard, you know, of a lot of people doing music. I know of a lot of people that do music, man, but one thing about it, we ain't got no structure down here, you understand? Yeah. So you definitely gonna have to go out of town, man, and network, because guess what? You take that sound that's different, you understand? come from South Carolina, somewhere else, Alabama, Tennessee, or something like that, and they rock with it, you understand, they're going to rock with you. Yeah. So they're going to definitely push it, you understand, and even if you just go network with them, man, and y'all build some type of relationship, you keep grinding, and something start buzzing, they're going to rock with you because you done went out of state and you done rub elbows with them, you understand, so they know yeah. you. So they're going to push it, man, so you definitely can't stay in the bubble of South Carolina. And thinking a miracle gonna happen, you understand? You got to move around, you know? That's my model anyway. But a man can do what he want to do. Yeah. That's his choice, you know? So, I've been, you know, I've been doing my homework, and I done seen you rock a lot of big crowds and stuff, man. How, what's the feeling of that when you step on that stage, when you got tons of people in the fan, you know what I mean, in the, in the stands and stuff, and they're cheering on for you to perform, bro? Uh, it's a good feeling, you know? Um, yeah. 
And to be honest, I know it's gonna get better. You understand when it comes to me, cause I ain't gonna do nothing but make the crowd more broad. I mean, I'm gonna get more people, man, to come and see who 6'9 is, you understand? Yeah. But it's a, it's a good feeling, especially, man, you know, when you believe in your music, you believe in yourself, man, like I do, so. Yeah. Like I said, man, the time will come where the crowd will grow even more, and you know, the feeling will be, you know, even better for myself, man, so. It's a great feeling, you know? Great feeling. Um, you got well, any up and coming shows coming up? Uh, I got a few parties, man, that, you know, I, I'm always throwing a party, you understand? If yeah. I don't have a show, I'll put together a party, man, so the work never stops, you know? Yeah. If I don't have a show, I'm going to make a show, man, to let somebody know who 6 9 is, so. Right, you know, right. that's the grind. It, it never stops. Never stop. What's your recording process like when you hit the studio? As far as what? Like necessities you need to, to get in your mode to vibe out the, to write a good song. Like, you know, like the. I just need that good production, a good beat, yeah. man. You know, I ain't gonna say I need no lean or no green or. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No Molly and all that, man. I need a good track to rock out with. Um, you know, I ain't gonna say my mind got to be so much clear, man. With good production, man, according to what I'm going through, yeah. you understand? That's what I get a track, man. So honestly, I just need that good produ production. And according to how I feel, that's how I'm gonna rock out with it. Yeah, know? yeah. Who's your favorite producer down in Atlanta that you like working with? <laughs> I like Stupid Beats, man, you know? I mean, he underrated, man, to me, you know? Um, he got a lot of hits. Um, you know, Rich Homie Kwan, the difference between me and you, TK and Cash, Mind Right, uh, Rollo, Can't Lie, and, and several more, man. He done work with, with them all. Why, you know, um, Why Fan? Yeah. Everybody, man. Black Youngster, you know. I like his production, man. I feel like he can be the best of both world with his production. Um, you know, I done had a, a chance to rock out with a few other artists on uh, Shorty Ray, you know, Jeezy and Gucci, old producer, um, you know. I feel like, you know, he did his thing in this era, man, but you know, right now, um, you know, they're more Metro booming and stupid and, you know, et cetera. And I also like Metro booming. Um, you know, I worked with him when I first got into Atlanta. And I'm gonna say that's kind of my fault. I lost the contact, man. When he grew, you know, I should have grown with him, but yeah. you really ain't know a diamond in the rough, man, till it's gone. So, you know, shout out to that boy Metro, man. You know, like, he done made a lot of noise since I first met him in Atlanta, and I wish I would have grew with him. Yeah. So I know that I'm going to have to make some noise, man, you know, to get back in front of him, because he know who I am, you know? Yeah, yeah. Before all his line, like, man, he pulled up on me several times, you know, with the laptop, man, and, you know, I caught from him. So, you know, everything come back around full circle, you know? It yeah. Is what, it is what it is. And it's crazy that you said that, you know, shopping with the producers, like, a lot of cats in Carolina don't, they don't understand if you circulate money, more money will be made. Like, a lot of these cats scared to spend money or they, they just don't want to spend. I don't, I don't even know what their mind frame be about that, but you got to put into what you want to get out of it. You know what I mean? And, and I'm going to tell you like this, man, with a mind frame like that, they ain't going to make it. Yeah. You know, I'm going to tell you something. This is the real talk. A man with a different mindset and don't have the money to put in his grind to make it before the man that got the money to put in his grind is scared to spend it, he'll never make it. Yeah, a yeah. man that's hungry, that got the talent and no money, will make it before you, you understand? Because his passion gonna drive him a little bit further. That ain't really your passion if you're scared to put a dollar out there. Yeah. I done put more money in my music, man, than half of these boys out here that say they're trapping and doing this, that, and the third gonna ever make, you understand, yeah. from the grind, and that's, that's a fact. You understand? Ain't no need to get no figures. I'll give figures one day. Yeah. It makes some sense. <laughs> but I promise you, man, 80% of the boys are already kind of that grind. I done put more money in my music than they're going to ever make. Yeah. they grind, and I promise you, 80% of them, the whole already kind of. Georgetown kind of, too, and any other kind of, man, if you want to talk. Yeah, it's yeah. It's 20%, man, that, you know, that I really made it. That's and just a lot of boys that talk, you know, but about them doing it and all that. They ain't really doing it. You know, like last night I was uh, I was just scrolling down Facebook, whatever, and I seen that the the rapper Mozzie got killed last night in Atlanta. Like being at Atlanta, like the the melting pot of music, and them blowing up. You know, like a lot of rappers say, like they need to leave their hometown from fear of being targeted. You know what I mean? Like, how is it in Atlanta when 
all the music there, everybody balling out. The, you know, like, I feel like it'd be kind of hard for them to even to move around their own city like that from cats trying to rob them or trying to take them out of the game, hating on them and stuff like that. You say you think it'd be hard for a man to take you out of the game? No, nah, I mean, like, being that, you know, like, Boozer said he had to leave Baton Rouge because, yeah. of, because of the violence. But, like, a lot of the Atlanta cats who's blowing up still in Atlanta. And, and man, because, you know, like, that's their home turf. So, you yeah. know, like, a lot of them boys, um, you know, like, they, they really bought, you know, that, that action, man. So, like, when you look at YFN and you look at um, Young Thug and Rollo, like, you know, them boys really know what it is about it. So, man, like, it ain't going to... When them boys move, they moving deep, and, yeah. and they bought that action, man. So that's why they can move around like that because you know the streets know what's happening. Um, when it come to me, man, fan, you know where I come from, moving, man, I ain't going nowhere. You understand? Like yeah. I'm here. Yeah. yeah. You know, I stay in Atlanta, but I'm from South Carolina, man. I'm gonna move like I want to move. You understand? And, and and I ain't worrying about anything, man. But you know, like a lot of them boys from Atlanta, man, you know, it goes down. You know, I done heard a lot of stories. You understand but some of the rappers that done made it. Yeah, yeah. And it's for real, you know, so the streets know that. And when they move, they move deep. So, you know, that's why they can move around like that, honestly. Yeah. You got so, any and, message? And, and, and another thing, man, let me tell you something. I know, you know, like, even when you see some of the Atlanta cats beefing with each other, um, for instance, like you seen Rollo was beefing with um Rich with, with Rich Homie. Yeah. You know, Rollo made a, a public statement, you know, apologizing to Rich Homie. So at the end of the day, man, you know, them boys be bought, you know what I'm saying, the action, man, but them boys be getting money together. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Um, Young Thug and Future had a problem together. Now you see them together. Get man, money, yeah. look at that South Carolina and understand what's going on. Them boys come together for that money. You understand? Yeah. This a, is a life, one time, you know, life chance opportunity. So them boys ain't about to blow it, man, or they done made it through, you understand? Like, they turned that beef, man, into money, you understand? Yeah. So, man, you know, that that's what's going on down there. You ain't got to do nothing but pay attention. I observe, man, back, and see back. what's happening. You know, when you look at South Carolina, man, everybody want to be the, the man. Nobody ain't united. Mm -hmm. And, nigga, we still in the gutter. So, shit, with that being said, give, give a message to the young cats out here who's trying to come up in this music game, man. Hey man, y'all young cats who trying to come up in the music game, um, you got to stay humble, be real, you understand? Um, don't bite nobody's style, man. Create your own style, man. Be a trendsetter, you know, don't follow nobody's trends. And, you know, and don't be scared to listen, man. Don't be scared of constructive criticism. You know, if you can follow them few guidelines and a few more, you know, like, you can make it through, you know. Um, I hear these boys talking about, you know, they always shooting up this, shooting up that. I mean, even if you bought that, man, you know, um, don't go out there and do nothing like that to prove a point, you understand? Like, if you in that situation where you ain't got no choice, then you do something, man, you know, to protect yourself, man. But you got to follow real guidelines out here, man. Like, you know, um, yeah. rapping is a business, you understand? You can't say yourself, man, if you locked up, you understand? So, man, you know, this, this follow guidelines, you know, like, Handle every situation accordingly, man. And you can get somewhere in life, man, you know, with this rapping, man. You know, so you following a few guidelines, you got a chance. If you don't, man, you might be dead and going to locked up, man, and be rapping behind bars. She was a cellmate. You know, that's your choice. You want to hit the fans with all your social media and where they can find your music at? Hey, man. My website is 69music.com. That's S I X, the number nine, music.com. Uh, Instagram is 843, the numbers, S-I-X, with the number 9. Twitter is official, S-I-X, the number 9. Uh, YouTube is official, S-I-X, the number 9. Everything is 6-9, man. If you Google S-I-X, the number 9, all together, no spaces, man, I'm going to pop up. That social media is going to pop up, man. Follow the boy, man, South Carolina Prince, dog, 6-9. You understand the real. Hey, salute to my barber right here, man. Boss man, one of the best in the world. You know, salute to Scotty Tuma and Big Bubba, man. There's some good barbers too I rock with here and there, man. But salute to the boss man who keep me looking good, man.